The following is a selected video from MasterTheContent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit MasterTheContent.com. Your career, our passion. So the first thing I'm going to do is just give you guys a brief insight into the uh, the diversity of uh, this subclass of organisms. So remember that when we're talking about prokaryotes, we are talking about organisms that belong to two different domains. We're talking about organisms that belong to the domain archaea, and we're also talking about organisms that belong to the domain uh, bacteria. So that is a concept that's going to become a lot clearer, clearer in the coming slides when I actually do uh, tackle the three kingdom uh, system of classification. Now prokaryotes actually happen to be the oldest and actually the simplest and most abundant uh, forms of life on earth and they have almost approximately 10 times uh, the biomass of all eukaryotes on this planet. So you can imagine that microorganisms having approximately 10 times the biomass of every other organism uh, on this planet. Now they've actually been present pretty much through most uh, of uh, evolutionary history. They're actually believed to have been there over two billion years before uh, we actually had eukaryotes appearing. Um, so that's a really significant point to note because as a matter of fact, um, photosynthetic cyanobacteria actually thought to have uh, preceded the emergence of eukaryotic organisms by uh, forming oxygen which actually allowed these organisms to evolve and come into play. Now, prokaryotes in general are very small uh, cells. They're not big. They're usually mostly unicellular, and they have a diameter of about one to five micrometers. You can contrast that to eukaryotic cells, which have diameters of about 10 to 100 uh, micrometers. Prokaryotes are also a very diverse, genetically diverse uh, class of organisms. Uh, they grow and reproduce very fast. They have extremely high rates of evolution as a consequence, and for that reason, they exhibit a diverse range, uh, or they exhibit a lot of genetic diversity. Now, prokaryotes are also highly adapted organisms. They can occupy a diverse uh, range of habitats. Typically, you'd find them thriving in, in extreme conditions, uh, conditions that are either too cold or too hot, too salty or acidic for euka eukaryotic cells, because they develop specialized uh, adaptations that allow them to actually occupy these habitats. So they're extremely tough, they're ex an extremely um, resistant and adapted class of organisms uh, that you can find in very extreme conditions. So what that slide does, it just gives you a snapshot into uh, this grouping of organisms, prokaryotes in a nutshell, what they are, what they're about, and now we're going to go into uh, the specifics of bacterial taxonomy 